For St. Louisans over the age of 40, these four words will likely bring back a stream of fond memories. Wrestling at the Chase. It's a new book that will have you reliving the past and wondering about the future. Let's talk about where we are. St. Louis, Missouri! This was a scene in August as the National Wrestling Alliance held two nights of action at the Chase Park Plaza Hotel. Now, let's rewind 62 years to the very beginning of Wrestling at the Chase. Wrestling at the Chase was one of those premier histories of St. Louis. You know, it ran from 1959 to 1983, and it was during this time St. Louis was one of the premier cities in America. So it's to go back to this golden time, you know, St. Louis was the cap wrestling capital of the world with, due to Sam Muchnick's operations here. And everything centered on this glamorous, opulent hotel, the Chase Park Plaza. It's the subject of author Ed Wheatley's coffee table book. I like taking people back in time. The ring was right here in the historic Core Sand Ballroom. Back then, people also dressed to the nines to see wrestling up close and personal. Women were in evening gowns and evening gloves, and men were, you know, in formal attire, sitting ringside watching this. It was this magic four words, wrestling at the chase, immediately elicits a smile, wide eyes, and a story from anybody, you know, and it's like, we need to keep those memories alive. Wheatley says it was the hottest ticket in town, but if you couldn't get seats, you could watch it on Saturday nights on KPLR. Channel 5 also had a wrestling cast detailed in this book. In 1953, there was actual live wrestling taking place in St. Louis, and Channel 5 presented it as wrestling from the St. Louis house. For many, you can say it laid the foundation because it proved it could work here, that people would watch it, and people would come to it. With wrestling back at the chase for just two days in August, you might be asking if it will continue. You know, there is discussions about uh, future events coming here, and uh, you know, they have helped me with the book too. You know, I was a, got to be a part of what they uh, put here uh, last August, and uh, you know, I, I think that just the fact that wrestling was back at the chase was something very special. To purchase the book, visit ReedyPress.com. On November 4th, there will be a book event featuring Florissant's own WWE wrestling legend, Cowboy Bob Orton Jr. Tickets are $10 for adults, $5 for kids, and ticket proceeds will be donated to historic Florissant Inc. Info at FlorissantMo.com theater.